How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning in. It's Harvest Wild here. We are slaughtering our chickens today. We have just under 40 chickens and uh, they're broilers. They are nine weeks old tomorrow. We got them on April 22nd and we're slaughtering today, which is uh, June 23rd on a Sunday. Um, we have family and friends here, so we're really excited to go through this whole process. Um, it's not an easy one to go through, but um, I think it's important to involve all of our kids and the family and they, you know, to learn wh where their food comes from. It's really important. Uh, we got most of the stuff set up today. Um, and then we have a butchering station right over here. I'll show you guys as well. We pulled their food last night. Um, so they should have empty stomachs today. Okay, so we're getting ready to start. Uh, the chicken's heads are now in the tool that we are going to be using for the moths, like a cone. Whoa, this one can get up. So in this process, you want to grab their legs, hold them upside down for a minute before you put them in the cone. And it pulls blood into their head and makes them calm down so that they will just hang there. So after you cut their heads, you know, you're going to let them hang and then put them right into the cold yeah, water. You gotta make sure they take ready to get back to it but we took a, a 10. <laughs> uh, had a couple of drinks, some water and played with the kids making it a fun experience. Here we go. Second round. You want to cut hard, but not through the spine. If you feel it hit the bones, then ease off. Watch your hands. Is it going to freak out? Yeah. It may, yeah. Okay, hard? Yep. Just go for it. You got it. Like you're cutting through a big hunk of meat that's dead. Keep going. There you go. You got that, you got that side. Now the other side. Yeah. There you go. You're good. There. Good. Now hold it. I don't want to pull down though, right? I don't want it to pop out. Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, just, just hold it tight. Oh, that one Get that other side better. You're gonna kick here in a second. Get that right side a little more. Oh, Where's the blood starts? Yeah, just a little. There you go. That's it. Good. See how it's trick right now on both sides. That's perfect. Oh, Cashton, stop playing in the chicken poop. There, now it's gone. So cool. How's it going? It's good. They're here. Feed our families. It's good food. It's a little sad. <laughs> it's a little sad. <laughs> uh, we got the you know, five gallon bucket. Drill a hole. Just put the drip tube in. Just drill a hole and just jam the drip tube into the pipe there and have the little little automatic filling. It's probably good, right? Yeah. Super 
easy. And you can cut the feet off if you want, or you just throw them in. I feel like you break the legs less if you cut them. wrapping things up and we just started cleaning we're wrapping up the last chicken uh, Sienna really wanted to gut her own chicken so we went through the whole process today and first she said she didn't want to do the gutting part but um, the last year got to the last chicken she's like I want to do it I want to do it so she's learning how to do it right now we have the last chicken in process it was um, a hard day but a good day and a necessary day uh, it's awesome to know you know where our meat comes from and we're really excited to try try the meat from the whole process we got them on april 22nd um, we started them in like a hay trough um, until they outgrew it uh, about four or five weeks and then we tra transferred them into their chicken tractors cole and aaron um, all of us actually made the chicken tractors one or about 20 chickens in each one and tomorrow they're nine weeks old um, so it's great timing. The chickens um, weigh anywhere from five to nine and a half pounds. And we, you know, and the chicken tractor is nice because you move them every couple of days. So the chickens had a really good, full, healthy life. Um, they were able to feed, uh, you know, from the vegetation on the ground. Um, their poop is nitrogen for the soil. So it's a full cycle of greatness. Um, and we, we learned a lot in the process and we can probably you know we can definitely do it better next time and yeah it's awesome um, we fed them morning watered them in the morning and in the evening um, chickens temperature runs around 170 degrees internally so you have to be really careful when it gets really hot like in Reading out of Northern California it gets really hot here so Aaron what do you think about our process today I think it was good um, it's my first time butchering chickens my first time well, I've slaughtered only one other animal myself. So it was my first time actually just like slaughtering. So, I mean, it's not the same as hunting. Hunting, you feel, you know, they, they have like a fair chance. When you raise something and then you kill it, it's a little bit different. But um, after the first couple, you know, you just kind of get over it and just get in the process of, of making meat, you know, making the chicken. So, uh, yeah, it was good. I'm, uh, I'm stoked that it actually went as smooth as it did. So what's next? Uh, we gotta let them age for two days, age them in the coolers and ice. That's how we're gonna do it, and then uh, put them in like these heat shrink bags. We put them in the bag and then dip them in about 100 degree water, and then we kind of tighten the bag up around them, and then we'll freeze them. And so we'll have, you know, 20 something each per family. For for first time learning, um, you know, losing like that bulk where we lost, I think we lost eight all in one batch with the change of the feed and the heat. That sucked. That was terrible. That was like, I felt sick for like two days off that. You know, I don't know. I don't and we know. also put ice in their water too to make yeah, it cool. Yeah, we put ice water bottles in there to cool it down. And we also put um, like a mixture of, I think it was salt, sugar, and baking soda to give them electrolytes. I'm not sure the exact mixture because Cole, the Wagners uh, mixed it. So I'm not sure what it was. They were putting it in the water so that they had electrolytes. Um, and yeah, so after that they were fine. Oh, well, they made it. It also cooled down a lot. It was only, I think, we only had a couple other 100 day, degree days. Yeah. Um, next time we're going to do them um, a little earlier, but we had to build the chicken tractors this year and do all that. So it was, uh, it took a, you know, it took a minute to get everything set up, but uh, it was awesome. And then we'll see how the grass grows back where these things were fertilizing the, you know, the soil. Um, you know, we're bouncing around. We weren't great at moving every day, maybe every other day on average, but. Um, they, uh, they moved around, they got a lot of good feed. Everywhere they were, they would just eat it bare, you know? So, it was, it was cool, it was great to see. So from like, when we got them, were they chicks? Yeah, so we got them on April 22nd, our broiler chickens. Yeah, they were supposed to show up on the 25th, and they showed up early, and then the feed store called and said, we can't keep these chickens here, you have to pick them up. And we were not <laughs> then, prepared, we thought we had like a couple more days. <laughs> so uh, then we so were we in them. like, overdrive, get this get the chickens home, get them ready to go. Get, yeah, trough for them to be in, all that. And, uh, you know, when they're 50 little chicks, 
Oh, I think it was 52. They, they're they tiny, and you're like, oh, they're so little. They all fit in one little box. So it was like a box like that big. So it's pretty amazing, because then they turned into like... Now, they, seven, I think one fits in that box. Well, they average, yeah. Well, <laughs> weight-wise, I bet you that 50 chicks was maybe 10 pounds, and... You know, these were averaging around seven, probably seven and a quarter, seven and yeah. seven and a quarter pounds. So our smallest is like five pounds, and then our biggest is like yeah, nine Yeah, but that pounds. one was like the crippled one that just never got up. Okay, so then our smallest. Really, if you cut that one out, I think our average was probably like seven and a, yeah, seven and a half, eight, well, close to eight. Um, yeah, so we raised that. We, we we had them in the in the in the brooder pin deal that we made. Was basically just a giant water trough that we used. So we get a heat lamp in there, and then we had just wood chips, and we fed them and watered them in there. And then once they got to, I don't know, what was it about four weeks old? Then we put four them. To out, five, yeah, four to five about weeks four old. Four weeks old, five weeks old. Then we put them outside in our chicken tractors that were moving around the property. And those took um, the rest of the time. We ha we butcher them at nine weeks. So. How much did it so cost like to build four, those tractors? Four to six weeks in there. Um, was it like a hundred dollars each? Well, each? it's hard to really guess because I, when I bought, you when we when we made already, the right? egg layer coop, our layer our layer tractor, I bought a giant like hundred and twenty dollar roll of hardware cloth. So um, we use it for that, and then the chicken tractor, and we still have a bunch left. Um, and then we bought the lumber. The lumber and the watering system and all that was probably a hundred bucks per per chicken tractor. And we didn't do the hoop style with the with the, with the uh, chicken wire. We used hardwood cloth, and we made it with like two by four stuff. It's much more it's much sturdier um, because we have a ton of coyotes, and you know we had coyotes actually get in our our, our layers in there, you know, and their you know so. Yeah, so then the, for food, we had organic, soy-free food, and it was about $30 a bag. Um, the chickens, when they were babies, they went through... No, $30 was like 24 Oh, 24 Yeah. Okay, Aaron bought the chicken. <laughs> 24 bucks. And Cole and Brainy. Um, so they went through a bag a week when they were just new, um, and then they ended up being around a bag every two to three days by the time they were seven eight weeks old yeah. yeah and so we haven't done the full math we haven't done the math. What they cost us <laughs> i'm sure that i mean you know if we'd have had those other eight it would have reduced the price yeah. a lot but I yeah we lost um i don't know what happened with that but next time we'll, chickens yeah if it gets hot we're going to give them electrolytes and all that stuff to make sure that they're okay i, I didn't realize you need to add something to the water i just gave them regular water i always just thought water the best but apparently you needed gatorade and then uh, today's process consisted of um we Aaron and Cole set up the stations this morning um and kind of we it's a learning process so and it actually ended up being you guys set it up perfectly like it was awesome um the killing cones they were set up right next to the chicken tractor so they just um we grabbed the legs held them upside down put their heads in the cones which were conveniently right next to the tractor so it worked out really well um and then you cut you don't cut the heads off you just make slits by the heads so you wish you yeah, you'll you see in the video yeah you get the carotid and jugular and, and that way they bleed out quickly just have if a you, super you don't want to sever the spine if you can help it because it I might it may <laughs> it may <laughs> yeah. stop the heart from beating you Which know then it depends on who you're talking to but most most people tend to like to just slit the throat just to, so they bleed out to death and you don't sever the spine and that way you end up with um, it's on us. I, I know, but it's weird. <laughs> and but so, it, you don't want it to take away from the from the meat, so this makes it so the meat is the best you can eat. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Only time will tell. Um, if so they're then, terrible, that's going to be bad. So then, from the killing <laughs> cones, we process them um, at our full like station. So we put them in the water first. So you scald them. And the temperature of the water was 130, no, 130, 140. 130, 140 is what we're shooting for. We get to like 140, and then we would just scull them and well, for as about we 10 went to through, 15, 10 to 13 up to like seconds. 10 birds, and then by the 10th bird, it would be down to like, you know, dent, down 10 degrees. And what? then um, this is a white eagle. <laughs> so from there, we would put them in the de feather and de feather, de feather, plucker, the plucker. 
We put them in the plucker, yeah. which was awesome. Which was we didn't have to. Which was de-feathering them. <laughs> which we didn't have to do it by but hand, it and it was fantastic. Um, really happy to have that. And then we plucked the rest of the feathers that didn't come out from that, and then we gutted few, them. Except for a couple. There was a couple. That just... We kept the feet. Um, we're going to make some bone broth with it. Um, we kept the liver, and we're going to catfish bait. use it for catfish bait. Because I'm not really into eating liver. And then we, left, we also kept the hearts. Um, and then the rest of it, all the guts, we're going to put in a pile on uh, Cole the Wagner's place, and we're going to put, put a trail camera out and, and see what comes into them, what so we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, so, the, so we did it, it is us that did the, um, the, the whole process for the, for the meat chickens and the Wagner family, our neighbors. Um, we were super excited to be able to do it with them. We took turns on feeding them and it worked yeah. out really well. Which basically but. ended up to us doing most of the work the first half and them doing most of the work the second half. It wasn't like an alternating day thing. Was it? Really, I mean. Oh, I did. I when they were, them like every well, day. when they were chicks, I know, but when they were chicks, we did most of it, and then yeah. like, they were like Cole came over like every morning. Once yeah, he did. Older. Yeah, it was so awesome. Stuff, so it was awesome. just really great it's to good. do it with a team. So if you guys, you know, one recommendation is if you do have a team that you can do it with, it's yeah. it's fantastic and it's Somebody great camaraderie. It's really the fun neighbors, um, to do it together. You know, can watch them and then you watch them when the neighbors are gone and. And we're lucky to have an awesome neighbors. <laughs> yeah, for sure. um, and then they have a one-year-old and we have a two-year-old so they were totally involved in the whole process and um, playing in chicken guts yeah Where yeah it should be. maybe kind of playing in chicken guts well the whole place but, is covered in chicken guts now so <laughs> whether or not they were playing it before they are now um but it's good we are really um avid about kids being involved in the process you start them young and that is just what they know um so it's, it was awesome. We had. Yeah, they know where their dinner came from. They know where their food came from. Yeah, well, Emma's been in a bunch of deer kills and ducks. And you have some blood on your face. Yep. Just a little yeah. bit. Well, it's a messy process. It was our first time, and the first one, I didn't actually anticipate how hard I had to hold the neck down in the cone. It came flying out, and it. Um, so much carbon. All right, Cole and Brittany, come over here. Real quick. Uh oh. <laughs> So these are our fantastic neighbors we were telling you about. Cole well, and Brittany. Look, he's got a knife. So only say <laughs> nice things about him. Only say nice things. Hi. <laughs> so tell us what you thought of this whole process. I thought it was awesome. It was cool. It's a little messy, but yeah. we got it worked out by the end. Yeah. We had a good system going. Yeah. A lot of work, and, uh, but it wasn't as bad as what I was thinking. Yeah. It really wasn't. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how many chickens do we have total? Do you know? Next, we're gonna have chickens, have to I think lambs, 30, 30, 38. 38. 38 yeah. chickens. That 38? wasn't that bad. 40, oh man. Maybe 42. That's I don't know. it. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Next year, 150. <laughs> so we started, we started with 52, lost, and then yeah. Nine, nine plus however many that were sick. There's only a couple that oh, got yeah, sick. Oh yeah, plus a sick one. There's a couple yeah. sick ones, so. Yeah, we lost some babies, remember? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it was a learning process, but it was a good process, and um, we're really excited for all the meals that we're going to be cooking with our chickens. We have a bunch of good. Yeah, yeah, we have a bunch of chicken now. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to cook one. Yes. <laughs> I know. Well, thank you for tuning in, everybody, and um, we will let you know how the packaging goes um, when we process the chickens. We want to age them for 48 hours, and then we are going to shrink wrap them. Um, well, we got these heat treat bags, so I am bagging the chickens, and then Cole is dipping them in the hot water, 180 degree water, I believe, with the straw. Put the little straw in there. Five seconds. As soon as you started videoing, all of a sudden these mosquitoes swarm my shoulder and start throwing vampire, full vampire on me. And then five seconds out. Okay, so bag them, put the straw in, seal the bag, part way, with a zip tie, put them in a 180 degree temp, 
water for five seconds. Take it out of the water for five seconds. Pull the straw. Tighten the ziplock. Zip tie. Zip tie. Thank you. Oh. And put them in the freezer. Emma, what are we making? Chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Yeah? What does the chicken say? <laughs> we are making beer can chicken. Yes. Right there. Oh, first. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good. It's so good. So much flavor. Fashion. I'm going to try the skin. Fashion. Babe, what was good. Approved. <laughs> what do you it's think? Good, you know, huh? Really good. It's so good. That is so good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and in here we have, you wouldn't believe it, but chicken feet broth. That's right. Chicken feet, and I'm making broth with it.